Which you guys, today we're taking a look at how to set up Plex Media Server on a Synology NAS. So if you've got a Synology NAS like this one, you can set up Plex Media Server on here. And I'm going to show you how to correctly do it because the built-in app inside Synology sometimes can be outdated and you want to update it manually to get the very latest version. So if we look in the package center here, let me just quickly open this up so you can see here. Inside here, you're going to get a, an option to install Plex. Now, normally these are outdated and uh, you will normally get notified that they're outdated and you will have to manually update them. So you can see when we look on this, this will give you the information saying the newest online version 1.29.2 and then it says 6364. Uh, so what we're going to do is head over to Plex and download the actual server from here and then upload it to our Synology NAS. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now, just in case you don't know what Plex Media Server is, it's basically a piece of software that you can install onto a computer and turn it into a media server, which means you can play all of your videos, all of your photos, music, and all that sort of stuff all on your own network. And you can even share it outside your network if you want to. So I'm going to go to Downloads and download the Plex Media Server, and this will give you an option to download Windows version here. And you've got other versions available on here, but we're going to be selecting the Synology DSM-7 because that's what we have on our NAS. And that's what we're going to be downloading on here so we can then upload it. So over on the right, it says choose a package. So next, we're going to choose a package here. And Intel, uh, it says here, 32-bit. We've got Intel AMD 64-bit. And that's the one we need because we have an AMD processor in our NAS. Uh, but some of them have Intel as well. And if it's a 64-bit version, then that's the one you need to download. And if this is one of the other versions, you can download it, the correct version for your NAS. So there we go. We've got it downloaded here. And we're going to be looking at 1.29.2. And that's the one we've got on here already. So what we need to do here is going to go to Control Panel here. Inside Control Panel, what we're going to do is go to Update and Restore. And you can see it does tell me the model name of my NAS right here. And it also tells me the current DSM version that we've got here. So I know I've got the correct version. If you don't know, you can check yours before you download it and make sure you're downloading the correct uh, version here. So once we've got that done, uh, we can now go to the Plex Media Server area. Click on this one. And what we need to do is go to Manual Install. Click on the Manual Install here and it will say browse for file. So we're going to browse for the file on our computer. And there it is right there, 1.32.4.71. And it will give you this package is provided by third party developers and is not verified by Synology. So we're going to agree to this and continue. But you want to read all this because basically it's telling you that you're installing a third party uh, piece of software onto your NAS. So you've got normal installation, or you can install using the Plex uh, claim token. We're going to go for the normal installation here, and we're going to go through this method and run after installation. So click Done, and this will go ahead and install the Plex Media Server onto our NAS. We're just letting this do what it needs to do, and it does take a bit of time. It says Installation Successful, and now we're done and ready to go. So next, what we need to do here now is click OK here, and we can now click OK and move on to the next few steps that it tells you in the list here. So you're going to need a folder to put all your content into, and we can then uh, navigate to that in the Plex Media Client, which we'll do in a second. So go to Settings here, and you've got a bunch of other settings inside here, which will allow you to set it up how you like. I'm going to leave this as is and leave Update Packages automatically and leave the automatic updates set there. So that's all now done. Let's click OK here and move on to the next bit, which is you can see the Plex Media Server is already running. So what we're going to do now is open it up and you can see we can now set up an account. Now, I've already got an account here, but if you don't have one, you will need to create one and you can give yourself a email and account and put it in there and you can then log in. Once you see this, you should see server setup. This will be the media server, which is what I'm calling mine. But you can call yours whatever you like. We're going to allow uh, me to have access to my media outside of my home. I'm going to leave that check marked as well. And we're going to let this go through the setup process. Once this is done, it will ask us for the media library. This is for the library 
of media that we will have on our uh, NAS. So I'm going to go here and set this up. So we're going to go add library and you should see we've got plenty to choose from here. Films, TV shows, music, photos and other videos. So depending on what you're trying to set up here, you would select one of these options. So let's go ahead and we'll click films and you can choose here uh, your uh, English language and or you can choose something else. So let's go ahead and browse now for the content on our NAS. It's in our volume one. And we're looking here for the Plex media folder that I've already created on my NAS. And I've given it access uh, to all of my media. And that's where it's all located. So I'm going to add this in here. But let me just show you basically how we can do this. So I'm going to go next here and also click done. And this is because I want to show you the area where I've set up my folder. So inside the file station here, inside here, I've created a folder called Plex Media. I've then created another folder inside here, and we can call this whatever we like. So you can call this movies, you can call this TV shows, you can call it whatever you like inside here and set this up. So maybe you've got some uh, movies here that you want to set up for, say, weddings or holidays and stuff. You can put them all on here as well and just create the folders inside your Plex Media folder that I created already by right clicking on the left hand side and creating that folder right here. So let me quickly show you how to create them folders. So you need to go into control panel here and inside shared folders, you can see I do have PC backup and there's one called uh, Plex Media. The Plex Media server is where we've just installed our server and the Plex Media is gonna be all of the media that we're gonna be uh, sharing with our Plex Media server. So you can call yours whatever you like. I've just called mine Plex Media because that's what it is. It's all the media for our Plex. And you just click on create and create a fo folder of your choice. Once we've done this, you can go in here and you should have a Plex Media on this side here. And now you can add in more folders inside the Plex Media folder. Pretty simple stuff. Now you can upload all the content to the, your folders. Now you can either drag them, drop them into a map drive, or you can use the upload feature right here and upload some content inside here. So I've got some videos inside here, which we can then add to our uh, media. So these are going to be some of my personal uh, videos from YouTube. We can now go to our Plex media server and you can go through all of the settings here and set it up. I'm going to add a library and we can choose other videos or films or TV shows, and you can add them in just like this by clicking next and you can call it whatever you like. So I'm just going to leave this as YouTube here, like so, and click Next. And we can now browse for that content. So click on Browse, and then go to your volume, and then look for your Plex Media folder that we created. And inside here, there will be a folder called Movies, and you can call that whatever you like in your media folder. So mine was called Movies. Add this to your list, and then add Library. And this will populate all of the files onto your Plex and you'll be able to browse them. You can scan for media uh, files on your Plex and it will find them. But you can see this is YouTube content, so it's not going to find any sort of artwork or anything like that or thumbnails and things like that for the videos because there is none. So if it was other sort of content, it would find all those and it will go off and find all that uh, content to add to your uh, Plex. And that is it. That's that simple. So hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I will see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.